Alrighty, so we're back with another construction update, and yes, we have two more bolts installed in a footer. I'm kidding. We have another piece of track installed, and they are installing the motor for the lift hill along with the grease trap. Um, and uh, it looks like they'll probably start the pre-lift, fingers crossed, tomorrow. And then the lift hill goes up after that. So um, in this update, there are actually some really nerdy shots. This might be my best um, update yet in terms of like the nerd level of the shots I got. So I get some really zoomed in shots of that lift motor and the grease trap um, and the gear for the lift hill. So if you are a BNM nerd, you are going to love this video. So stay tuned for that in just a bit. Um, as usual, I don't know if I'm going to talk through the whole video because there's a lot of nerd shots and I'm not going to talk for like seven minutes straight about nothing that doesn't need to be talked about. So um, they are definitely moving ahead with, again, the gearbox went in first, then the lift motor will probably go in tomorrow morning, um, and then they'll put the pre-lift, pre uh, so that's the drive tire, and then the first slight angle up piece of track, and then they'll put in the actual pre-lift, that's that sharp incline piece that you see, and it's very tall, and then on... Thursday then is when the lift hill will actually start. So it looks like Thursday, the actual first piece, uh, long 60 foot piece of the lift hill will go in. That's my guess at this current moment. Like I said yesterday, they're installing about two pieces a day. So they installed that one curve piece of track and then they installed this. So that's obviously counts as a piece. So it's still about two pieces of track a day. Um, and we estimate about a hundred more pieces left to install. That brings us down to about 50 to 60 days. So we're looking at 50 to 60 days that they could potentially have this coaster done by. Um, again, that's a very big like out there estimate on completion. But with the current rate of two pieces a day, we're looking at 50 to 60 days before completion. And that makes sense. And you want to know why? The coaster started early because Frontier Canada probably is using the same construction company that is building this coaster. So the reason they're working on this now and getting it done much earlier than most projects is A, the tunnel. B, the sheer size of this project, and C, this construction company has got to move on to theming and Frontier Canada. So you're probably going to see UCC Group come back. You're going to see Rutherford Contracting come back. Um, and they're going to start working on everything that goes around this. Remember, they're expanding Frontier Canada all the way over to this coaster, Yukon Striker. And it's probably going to house a lot of theming and a couple of shops and who knows, maybe a restaurant. Um, I'm hoping for a lot. We are being told that, you know, not everything was released and... The station artwork itself was not released yet either. So there's very exciting things that are going to come. As I say in a lot of my updates, we're told that the entrance to this coaster is going to be impressive. So looking forward to that. Can't wait to see renderings if they release them. Vortex is also probably going to be getting some um, paint and a rename if I had to take a wild guess. Um, so stay tuned for uh, some details on a giveaway we're going to do. So we got some awesome Vortex merch. Uh, I think I went and bought all of it. <laughs> that was available and we'll be doing a giveaway soon on that with some vortex merch so stay tuned for that we'll probably start giving away stuff when we do the drone footage again a little later this week um as soon as they start the lift hill the drone will be up and then the park closes next week and once they're closed monday to friday we'll be doing drone updates monday through friday um but yes the nerdy shots are starting so as you can see this is the gearbox um and this is what feeds the chain lift back into the chain Sorry, the chain back into the chain lift, and uh, it also takes it as it comes down. You can see the insert where the chain will enter and then be fed through that gear back, back, gear back up into the upward part of the lift hill. That is the most amateur description I could possibly give you about what this piece is, um, so don't hate me too much. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy the nerd shots that are about to come. Um, and yeah, comment down below what you are most excited for about Yukon Striker. Are you looking forward to Frontier Canada or are you looking forward to that 90 degree drop 245 feet into a tunnel? Um, thanks for watching guys. As usual, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more. The drone is getting ready to go up. I couldn't be more excited to start using it again. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you.